The only reason why I wouldn't redo my life is only because I, I really don't think I'd ever get the opportunity to be in the entertainment business ever again. Me too. Yeah. I really have, I've loved, I mean, I loved being a cheetah girl. I loved to perform. And the reality is, I ain't gonna find no other job that's gonna pay me like this. Like, that's just the truth. No, I'm the honest, like, that's the honest, I, I would have to really, I don't know what the heck I would do. That's, I'm being honest. We gonna keep it real, like. What's up, you guys? Okay, I figured it is time for you guys to get to know me better, and I actually found a 21 questions that they say you should ask if you really want to know who somebody is. So I'm going to answer them rapidly. Here we go. What movie never fails to make you cry? Uh, my favorite movie of all time, Steel Magnolias, especially now that I'm a mom. It's weird that the character Jackson, which is Julia Roberts, Shelby's son, is pretty much the same age that ever is now. And I, I don't know, I just can't imagine my baby boy not having me. So that is definitely the movie that always makes me cry. By the way, Sally Field is my mother. In the, if you wanna know who Nilda is as a mom, the character that Sally Fields plays in Steel Magnolias is my mother. When she talks to me, she said, um, she's like, but my, um, I could run from here to Texas, but my daughter never could. Oh, guys, I will cry right now. Steel Magnolias. How would your best friends describe you? A hot ass mess. They would say I am crazy. I am silly. I am, they probably would say I'm wild. I don't know, Lana, what would you, how would you describe me? Quickly, come on. How would you describe me for real? I would say you're funny. Okay. I would say you're always late. Okay. I would say uh, you have a really great personality. You're a great mom and you're fun to be around. Okay, so I think fun is probably the overall yeah, arch. We're gonna wild. act like the late part did. I'm just kidding. I'm taking accountability. Move on. How far would you make it in a horror movie? I would make it really far in a horror movie because let me let you know, the discernment that God has given me is so next level. I'm not being funny. I know when people are not good people. I'm, I'm putting it out there. I can spot somebody for, I will literally be like, that's not a good person. Stay away from that person. I promise you the favor that God has on my life, the protection, I'm gonna survive. If you had the option to press a button and restart your life, would you press it? I want, I, I want to say no, and I feel like Iz and I love this uh, quote that says, if I would have changed anything, it would have changed everything. And I really love where my life is now, but I'm a press start over. <laughs> I'm starting over, I know too much. Do I get to go back and know what I know now? Sure. Or do I just have to start over? No, you Because if I start over, I don't know if I'm gonna have the same, the same, because I'm not gonna lie, the opportunities that I've been given are one in a mil, no, I'm not starting over, forget it. I'm not starting over. Okay. I'm not starting over. What is the most worn item in your wardrobe? Um, definitely not panties. <laughs> uh, what is the most, uh, the most worn item in my closet? The most worn item in my closet. I mean, guys, I am a repeat offender on a whole other level. Honestly, my workout clothes. I wear workout clothes nonstop. That Target dress had you in a chokehold. Oh, I did. Future Collective did a black Target dress that I swear I wore like four times. That, oh no, was that the one? Yeah. No, just recently that Amazon black jumper. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Amazon black jumper. We'll link both of them here so that you too can wear them repeatedly. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. So you too can wear them on repeat. I gotta say that all over again, don't I? You get the point. If you could move to another country for free, which would you pick? Funny enough, I actually really low-key wanna get an apartment in London. Um, I think it's the most reasonable place to live. It is a great um, hub for all of Europe. And I love the fact that literally I could take a two hour train ride to Paris if I needed to, but I feel like I could actually get a lot of work done in London and I 
appreciate that they speak English and I think that that would be helpful for me and my family. I really think, I think Iz and I are thinking of getting an apartment in London. Correction, a flat. What food or snack that other people love do you think is overrated? Food or snack that, them Takis you be eating is unacceptable. I'm sorry, I will never eat that. The red dye in there, the, I'm telling it right, it's so disgusting. Lana freaking loves these nasty, I don't even, what is that, a puff, a chip, a, do not, I'm not here for the Takis. No, thank Said you. other people, it, it wasn't about me. You are my other person. <laughs> You are other people for me. You like Takis, what else do other people eat that I just am like, that's so gross. What does Iz eat that I think is gross? Um, he likes a lot of sweet stuff. A candy. Candy, I hate candy. I do not like candy. I'm talking like gummy worms. If I had to eat a candy, I do like, um, pe I used to like peach rings was my jam, but again, I hate the granulated sugar on there. It makes me remember summers where I would go to the beach and all the sand would get in my food. So I hate granulated anything. It's a trauma texture thing for me. I don't like, like I'm not a candy eater. But if you think that there is any candy that might change my mind about how I feel about not really liking candy, comment it below. Should I do an entire episode trying new candies? Cause she is not a candy girl. Cue the song. Candy girl. All right aged myself. Which family member are you closest to and why? I am closest to my mother and my sister would be my closest family member. Oh, but that's hard to pick. And I, who am I, clo who am I closest to? I'm, I'm really closest to my mom. Uh, honestly, she'd be the closest family member to me. But it's weird because there's things I will tell my mom that I won't tell my sister. And then there's things I'll tell my sister that I won't tell my mom. It possibly could be involving each other. Bro, that's so messy. That's, I mean, if you have a sibling, you get it. Yeah, I do. But the reality is there's like, like sexy fun things I'm gonna tell my sister that I would never tell my mom because that's just weird. And then there's like, maybe like emotional things that are like really deep rooted in me that I would talk to my mom about that I maybe wouldn't talk to my sister about because that's like really heavy and I don't want to sit and weep with her, even though I absolutely have. But you know, I never want my sister to worry about me, which is weird because I should never want my mom to worry about me. But, but I feel like she already it. does, so she might as well keep going with it. Can't stop, won't stop. What is your worst habit? My worst habit is my lack of time management. 100%, guys, I know it. We're being transparent here. I get it, you've all said it, I've said it, we've all said it, we get it. Another bad habit, Lana says I chew loud. I think she listens too much. I think she needs to get out of my mouth. She literally, I'm like, if I'm chewing here and your ear is right here, you might want to dame espacio, you know, like, come on. Sometimes you do do it on purpose. I do. I do do it to annoy. I, I do do it to annoy her. If you know, you know. What was your first job? My first job was I swept the floors at a Dominican hair salon called Fantasy on Clinton Street run by an amazing woman named Socorro and Arsenia. And I would sweep the floors and I would help out. She did nails as well and I pretty much would get a free blowout. That was my payment. What's your biggest regret from school? My biggest regret from school was not taking Spanish class seriously. I felt like I went in there and I was like, I speak. Spani, like get out of here, like I got this. And I remember having a Panamanian teacher named Senorita Chavera, and I didn't pay attention in class. I kind of was just messing around. And then the test came and it was like strawberry. And I'm like, duh, it's strawberry. They're like roof. I'm like, el rufo. And it was obviously techo and fresa. And I wish I would have paid more attention to um, my Spanish grammar. What would your dream job be? My dream job would oddly enough be being a talk show host, but I actually really like conflict television. Like the kind of talk shows I grew up watching was Sally Jesse Raphael. Um, I freaking loved Ricky Lake, Richard Bay. Uh, the first show, my first, my television debut in life was actually on the Jenny Jones show with 3LW as um, like talented kids or something like that. So that to me would be like a dream job. I just think real people are way more interesting than celebrities. If you could swap lives with anyone that we know, who would it be? 
I would swap lives with Israel. <laughs> okay, guys, we joke, but okay, here's the thing. I only joke because I think as a mom, we just have this natural instinct to like, I, I literally physically can't be away from ever. Like it, it, it physically hurts me. Versus like, I think it's dope that dads like can step away. I think they're able, I think that's how they're built to, you know, financially provide for a I think there's just, men and women are built differently in those ways, I think. I don't think that's for everyone, but I, sometimes I'll see him and he's like traveling for work and I'll just like mess with him and be like, wow, to be a dad, I'm coming back as a dad in the next life. I'm coming back as a dad, but it's actually a joke. Okay, if there's somebody I know personally that I want to switch lives with, I don't want to, I mean, I w honestly, I want to have Israel's throat, like the vocals, I want to be able to play multiple instruments, I would want to be able to perform the way he does, travel the way he does. Is, is, lives, a, is, is lives a good life, no? Where do you feel most yourself? I feel most myself at home. Actually, no. Crazy enough, I feel most myself at my sister's house, surrounded by my family. I feel like I don't have to be hosting because it's not my house. I'm in my sister's house, but it's like our family house. And I also feel like a child because my mom is there. And like, I just like sit there and do nothing. And like, I don't, I don't know how to explain that. Like, I feel like it takes me back to being a kid in like where all of us are in the house together, which is the way I grew up. What inspires you most? Um, I mean, so many things inspire me. I think quiet moments inspire me the most. I think when I get to just chill and have downtime is when I'm most inspired, which is crazy because it should be like my rest time. But for me, um, when I rest is when I get to recreate and I get super creative and I'm like, oh my God, we should be doing this or we should be doing that. Um, Lana, where, do you, where would you say I get like a lot of my... Like, where do I get inspiration from? Every time you go in the shower, you come out with an idea. That is true. Yo, the shower? God be talking to me in the shower. Like, for real. Fun fact, I take my phone with me in the shower, and that's why Lana gets wild messages and ideas from me from the shower. I'll be like, I'm, I'm in the shower, but, like, these are all the ideas that are coming to me. I've heard songwriters are really good at writing songs from the shower. Just saying. What are people always surprised to learn about you? I think people are still shocked when they meet me and they're like, you're so short. I don't know how many different ways I have to explain that I'm 4'11". Um, but another thing that people are shocked to know about me, I think people would be shocked to know that I'm a super introvert. Like I am extremely introverted in the sense that I am a homebody. I like to be home. I like to do nothing. As much as I'm a workaholic, there's a whole other part of me that's extremely lazy. Like I, I literally could lay, I could be a couch potato every day, all day with no problem. And I think that's really hard for people to believe because I work so hard and I, but that, that is not, it's, it's weird, right? It's literally like the yin and yang of who I am. I literally am either a blob or I am going full force. Yeah, you have two very extreme. It's, I'm guys. actually, I'm a very extreme person in general. <laughs> like, like psychotically extreme. Like, I either am looking like this or y'all don't even want to know. If you watch Love Island, like so many of you do, you know who Maya Jama is. And I was joking that like, if I really showed my personality on Instagram, like, you know when Maya Jama is just there in her bed, like with no makeup on, like, eh, like if I showed you all the selfies that I sent to Lana, you would actually ask for the, my, my throne of being selfie queen would be lit on fire. Like the, like, just light the throne on fire because it's, I am, I'm a hot mess. Do you remember one day I texted you because I needed you to do some work stuff and I said, do you look cute today or are you giving a little Maya Jamma? <laughs> and I sent you the photo that we're gonna put right here. And she said, you tell me. No shame. Me. I said, you tell me what I look like today. Can't shoot nothing for you today, baby girl. What moment in your past do you wish you could experience again for the first time? I wish I could experience again for the first time my wedding. And I feel like so many people feel this way. Like the fact that like, like even when Lana and I talk about my wedding, like I didn't get to connect with her the way I would have. We don't have the same memories of that day. I wish I could do it over. And I would be way more specific about who, I don't know, it's so weird. It's not that I didn't love it. I actually loved it so much that I would just want to go back and maybe cherish 
some of those super sweet moments all over again. Or, or, or like just milk some of those moments even more. Or stand in the moment and be like, have photographic memory in this moment, eh? I thought your answer was gonna be completely different. Why? I thought you would want to experience Ever's birth all over again. You know what's weird? I wouldn't want to experience Ever's birth all over again. I, I actually, I think I was so intentional that day, I didn't miss a damn thing. Okay, good. Do you know what I mean? Whereas, like, there was no way to not be present in Ever's birth moment. I literally was, I was in the crotch. Like, I actually think if I had been physically giving birth, I may have not been as present. Does that make sense? Yeah. I was, I was like, like in it, I, like I did not miss a thing. And I actually just love everything about him so much more now, his personality that like, I wouldn't want to go backwards. But my wedding day, I feel like there's even people I wish I would have spent more time with. Like I wish there's just, it's, it's odd. It's like hard to explain. Like I loved it so much, but there's certain things I wish I would have just cherished even that much more. Like, like, it's weird, I can't really tap back into like my dad singing as mi niña bonita to me. Like, I'll cry right now, but you know what I mean? Like, like I paid attention to people that I wish I would, like I would have spent more time. With the people that are here today. Yeah. When did you last cry and it's? Right now. <laughs> Guys, I'm a mush ball. <sighs> I will cry talking about my family. What's one dish you can make from scratch without a recipe? Oh, I can make a lot of things. I can make, without, honestly, I never use recipes for anything. So I literally, I don't follow instructions well in general. That was on my report cards in second grade and it follows through. Uh, what dish can I make without a recipe? Okay, honestly, I kind of have created my own version of arroz con pollo in a pot. And I made it for New Year's Eve and no, for Noche Buena and my whole family went crazy. They were like, this is the best thing I've ever taken. Like ev my mother, my aunt, they were like, who made this? I was like, me. And they all were blown away. And the fun fact is, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I just kind of threw it all in there together and it tasted bomb. So I would say my arroz con pollo in a pot um, is definitely my go-to, need no recipe, make it happen meal. Bring in the tissue because it's about to drop right here. Who would you, hold on. Thank you. Who would you trust to help you bury a body? You, duh. I'm not doing that. But I would trust you. I would trust Lana, you guys, to bury a body with me, but we're not doing that because I have nightmares of like, I. I, I just would not want to deal with that kind of guilt. Like, why am I burying a body? We're not burying a body. I'm just, I'm not killing anybody. I would never kill anybody. There's no reason to kill people, ever. Like, I literally love that show Dateline and on a daily basis, I'm like, let me get this right. So you could have gotten divorced and been with that new chick, but you wanted to kill your wife and your whole family. Help me understand how you thought people were going to be disappointed by your divorce, but not by you being a murderer. Yo. I, I will never understand it. Like literally, I will never understand it. It actually makes me cry. Just kidding. Last question. And okay, be, last be question. so honest. Okay. What app do you use the most on your phone? Instagram. You do be on that editing app all day too. Which one? Where you make your reels. Oh, video, oh, Video Leap? I do like Video Leap, I do like it. But the other app that I'm, I love Instagram. I mean, I really do love Instagram. I would say Instagram is probably what I spent the most time on. The second one would be Zillow. I love me some Zillow. Let me know if you want to do a sponsorship deal. What about YouTube? I do, I, well, here's the thing. YouTube plays in my house every day, all day long because of my son. So we absolutely love things like Aprende con Isa, which is Aprende Peque. We love Atención, Atención. We like literally all his learning and songs. We just got into Los Meniques de la Casa. Um, what's the other ones we really like? I mean, literally YouTube is on every day, all day in my house. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this YouTube video. If you did, give it a like. Also, I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about all these wild answers. And make sure that you click the notification button so that you're notified every time there's a new episode of Love Always Adrian. I'll see you guys next week. Besitos.